I guess in the beginning, <coughs> I first probably thought like some, oh, what do they want? Because initially when you're approached by an organisation, whether it be government or private, that's somewhat bigger than what you are, there's this, what do they want? And uh, what are they going to take from us? And what's their hidden agendas? I just stay pretty neutral, really. I just say what I see and what I've experienced. You know, I'm not into the politics of it, but I've seen the results myself. You know, I might take three water and get a really good result. In fairness, there was much apprehension at first. Um, not everybody is keen on the environmental flow, but as the landholders and working with the Murray-Darling Wetlands Working Group, the paperwork was minimal. It was quite straightforward. There was involvement with the Lower Murray-Darling CMA. Um, and the enthusiasm shown by some of the staff at the Wetlands Working Group was fantastic. So it was very hard to say no in the end. Yeah, I'm a contractor here. Yeah, I've sort of moved away from the mechanic in there and just gone pretty much solely into pumping environmental water and floodwaters. We've had floodwaters around Mildura as well. We've done a fair bit there. From Albury through to the mouth of the Murray, really, pumping water. Yeah, I originally moved here from California to Cliff House Station here in New South Wales, one of the furthest corners of the state, and um, lucky enough to um, have met a fantastic Australian Please. man who became my husband, and we have this beautiful property which is located on the Murray River. Well, I can remember what, what these wetlands looked like uh, growing up in this area as, as a kid in the 1974-75 floods. Um, and you know how they come alive, and um, you know the frogs and the bird life, and all that sort of stuff. And you know, I often heard my grandmother talk about, you know, it'd be good if the the flood, you know, the river had come high again and flood the wetlands. And uh, so I guess that was that rang bells for me to um, to pursue it. Mix and Maria, they've been extremely keen to do it, and um, it was very. Exciting, I think you'd say, for Maria when we first started the pumps. It's probably, you could ask her about it, she may not tell you how excited she was about it. It was really exciting and I sort of hooped and hollered and, yeah, actually got into the water and splashed around where it was coming out. So, yeah, it was very good. It was really exciting. Yeah, it made a big difference out there too. Things were on, really on the edge and it's just improved it out of sight. The environmental water pumping was one of the most extraordinary experiences I've had with nature in my whole entire life. To see the difference of not having water versus having water and the radical change just overnight as it began to flow into the dry areas and the frogs and the birds and the animals and their reaction to it was just super extraordinary. Oh yeah, Tim, he's been my tie dealer for a long time and he's got a parcel of land as well and a really nice guy. And I mentioned to him years ago that maybe he should look at getting some water put onto his place and getting in contact with the Wetlands Working Group and that. And initially it was a little bit hard and all of a sudden it started to happen and gained momentum and off we went. So we stuck a pump in there and put some water in and the results were just within six weeks you could see the trees were pretty happy about it. And Yabby's back in the lagoon and just it just changed the landscape overnight. We're at Andruco Lagoon, which is on the uh, upstream side of Tapio Station, upstream of Wentworth, New South Wales. This first property we bought uh, approximately 20 years ago and uh, we, we all worked very hard, we still work very hard, but we thought it was time we had some quality in our life and, and hence we purchased this river property. Um, my dad is in his mid 70s. I'm approaching 50 rapidly and my son Jack is 18. I have another son, another, uh, I have a daughter, Holly, as well. Um, we love this property and uh, certainly we run it as a business. Uh, it's about dollars and cents, but some parts of this property, such as the environmental flows into Andruco Lagoon, are not about dollars and cents. They're about quality of life, uh, enduring uh, quality of the property and making sure the property is right for another three generations further on after these three are gone. We have no, uh, no intention whatsoever to make a short-term gain from this property. We're in it for the long run. And things such as environmental pumping and environmental flows have been fantastic for that. Billabongs somewhat act as a kidney to the Darling River. Uh, they help flush out the Darling, they help keep it clean. They keep the, the birds, the fish, all that going. Uh, it stimulates the environment. When we, when we pumped the water in, we noticed a huge change in the Abbey population, which was really good to see. 
um, whether they'd been under the soil for the years past or whether they'd come in with the water. The change in the environment has been dramatic. It's a happier place. Um, during the drought we had no, no birds, uh, no animals, um, fewer echidnas and things like that used to walk around. Now the water's here, they're all back. Yeah. And, um, and uh, budgerigars, you don't see many budgerigars, but there are hundreds of them here some days. I, I think it's of utmost importance to deal with local people, with credibility, people you can trust. It's, uh, our experience has been very different to dealing with faceless names from institutions or people from away that we don't know. We've uh, dealt with people like the chairman, Howard Jones, um, and, and a lot of other local people that have been fantastic to deal with. Those people didn't have to establish their credibility with us. We knew these people, we knew these names, and it helped us move forward in making the success at Andrew Co Lagoon as good as it's been. To have a family like the Mills uh, get involved as enthusiastically as they have uh, on a site like this, it's a very important message that you can work together as a group of people to, to achieve uh, some good environmental outcomes. Uh, even in the challenge times when we started here, um, uh, this is a natural flood. Uh, we pump water into here prior to that uh, with donated water, I might add, local donated water. So it's just it's turned a full cycle as far as I'm concerned. Uh, they've expressed the interest. Um, uh, the ability to, to meet that interest and uh, w was there um, and it just proves the point that if you drill down to, to local communities again, uh, which seems to be the theme at the moment, um, it works. Uh, in this case it's working beautifully um, and I'd encourage any other person who has properties on any of the rivers here, the Murray or the Darling, uh, if you think that that would uh, uh, enhance your life and uh, your, uh, your country, uh, get in touch with us.